Like my grandfather Jacques Cousteau used to say, the impossible missions are the only ones that succeed. And before humankind had explored the moon, my family set out to explore the sea. That's why they launched the Continental Shelf Initiative, a series of underwater research laboratories the likes of which the world had never seen. In 1960, my grandfather, joined by my father, Philippe Sr., set out to build an underwater research station for their growing team of oceanauts. They were kind of like you guys. Two years later, Conshelf was dropped at a depth of about 30 feet off the coast of Marseille. A yellow steel cylinder, 16 feet long and 8 feet in diameter, it served as a home and lab for its two inhabitants for a week. A short time later, Conshelf 2 was dropped onto a reef in the Red Sea, where we find ourselves today. Not only was Conshelf a research platform for marine scientists, it was also a human experiment to test the effects of isolation and sun deprivation. Six oceanauts spent a month living at depths of up to 82 feet. Nowadays, Conshelf 2 covered in coral and algae, is teeming with lionfish, clownfish, and beautiful anemones. The experiment proved that explorers can live underwater for protracted periods of time, but that the lack of sunlight made them a little bit loopy. How long have we been down here? I, I've, I've lost track. I guess you could say these submarines are better suited for animals than people. We are people, right?